Also tonight, a long journey home for a local Marine who sacrificed his life for his nation. Now, almost 70 years later, he will finally rest among the heroes at Arlington. Here's Jeff Rusak with the story. Nobody thought that this day would ever come. At the Niagara Falls Veterans Memorial Park, Debbie Amaker and Richard Reeves look at their uncle's name, Meredith Frank Kern. He died in the Korean War. His remains never returned home. Almost 69 years. Didn't hear anything about him. And then all of a sudden, here he is, and he's coming home. Last summer, the family of Marine Sergeant Kern got the news. They knew he would be buried at Arlington. They just didn't know when. Now they know. It's still a sad occasion, but it's still a very happy occasion. And we're all just excited to be part of it. Thursday morning, after nearly 70 years after he sacrificed his life for his country, Marine Sergeant Kern will be laid to rest. 58 members of his family will make the journey to Virginia to take part. At 89 years old, he and his brother are the only two living siblings left. And for this to happen for the both of them, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. The family of Kern know they're luckier than most families facing a similar struggle. There's still thousands of American soldiers who are over there that have not been recovered yet. So that, you know, that was always a possibility that he may never come home. Their advice, simple, keep going. Don't give up. Um, make sure you go out and get the DNA testing. A Western New York man gave everything for his country. Now his country provides a proper burial. Hopefully, God willing, all our servicemen will come home. Jeffrey Sack, 7 Eyewitness News.